Hi guys, it's me Shruti and I'm back with a new video and today I'm going to be recreating this fish. So this fish is, uh, this fish I actually uh, drew in third grade or second, I'm not sure. And um, so this is the fish that I want to recreate and this actually opens up and you can actually um, see its mouth and its teeth and all that stuff so you can see um the teeth the tongue and i actually drew a little fish saying ah all right so let's talk okay let's talk about this so i don't like what i don't like about this is that the there are streakiness and if you zoom in you see that the black marks don't really stand as out as much as i would like them to and um um as you can see the lines don't really align when um when it's closed but they do align when we open them so that kind of bothers me that yellow one right over there that i'm pointing to and yeah so i really want to create recreate this because i i like the color choices but i want to improve them a little bit more and yeah so i like I, there are blood <laughs> in the teeth and it's just not so what I would do right now so yeah now that we talked about it let's start recreating this <laughs> now I'm going to fold the paper into a half now you might as well just unfold it and fold it again towards the center now, when you unfold all of them, you should be having four rectangles. Now, our attention can be focused on the center line and we can just fold it towards us, upwards and downwards. Now, when you flip it over, you should be having this. Now, you might as well just open it and close it. Now that we have our paper all folded up, let's start doodling with our pencil. Now I am just roughly drawing the fish body. So let's just uh, take a look back at our original fish. So um, the original fish had an oval shape and I added um, this to the original fish. So I'm going to be doing the same thing, but I'm going to be adding my own little touches. To draw the tail, I'm going to make two dots. Uh, two small ones and I'm going to just curve it through the bottom. Now I might as well just connect it to the main body. Now just to add a little something something to the fish, I'm going to add some borders. But if we look back again, the original fish did not have any borders. But just trying something new and making sure it looks nice. Okay, so it's now time for the details. So on the original fish again, um, it, it had a lot of triangles over there by the tail and I did not like that design. Um, I don't like that design. So um, I'm just not gonna involve that. So yeah. Now let's start drawing the face and the scales. I'm going to draw the eyes too. I added um, highlights to it just so that it looks a little cute. Eyebrows as well. And now I'm going to draw the scales. Well, I'm just gonna draw the stripes just because the scales are gonna take a longer time to draw, so. Plus the, uh, uh, the original one also had stripes, so I'm just using that design. So I made seven of those stripes because there are seven rainbow colors, red, orange, yellow, green, dark green, blue, and purple. So I'm drawing some um, wild looking things. I'm not sure what they're called. I think they're called fins. And I'm gonna look, I'm gonna draw like wild looking ones. And yeah, the original one had those, so. So I'm gonna, uh, draw the lips so on the original one uh, the lips were very flat so i just made them puffier so yeah i just drew a heart there for the lips and that's how i made the puffy lips and now i'm just finishing touches making finishing touches and then opening it up and just 
extending everything of uh, so far of what I've drawn. Now I am drawing the big mouth. So I'm just going to extend the lips too, just because <laughs> they're the lips. And yeah, now just finishing, erasing, drawing, and yeah. Now I'm going to draw the teeth. So the teeth, I made them a little bit more curvier, just because I thought those were too wild and I didn't like those. So yeah. I was kind of struggling to draw the tongue just because um I don't know I I am not I'm not sure why I was struggling to draw the tongue but yeah but finally finally I got it. So now that now we can just take a small look at what we've drawn so far. So I actually made minor touches or major ones to the lips and I've actually kept those the same, the fins, and I've kept the stripes too, the same thing. And I also um, added, I didn't really add the um, spots just because I thought it looked different and it, it was not really my style. So yeah, and I think the lines are super organized and aligned. And I mean, you can't really judge a kids art so yeah and i've actually curved them a little bit more and i'm not adding that red looking stuff and i did not add the fish just because i really wanted the the fish i drew the big one to be special so yeah i didn't want it to take all the attention away so yeah and i also changed the eye a little just because i thought those were big and creepy and these ones look more natural more better i would say so so i'm not sure why i got two sharpies but let's just continue um so i'm just gonna take the sharpie and uh i'm just going around all the pencil marks and uh, fixing and i'm just bordering everything to make it look more official i would say Finally, I am done with outlining the fish. So it's completely black and white, but I guess we can add more color to it. So I'm going to keep the rainbow uh, stripes just because I thought it was very, very cute. So yeah, I'm going to take a red color pencil and I'm just going to add gradients and shading to show it off. So while I'm coloring, I would just like to say that I've actually created um, another video like this before. I created a uh, recreating bookmarks. So um, please be sure to check that video out as well after you watch this video, of course. Right, the final result here it is so i am just opening it and closing it and i am satisfied with every second of it and um yeah so i think it looks pretty cool i actually enjoyed making this and this was actually fun recreating it just because um that part is very satisfying and i would recommend you guys to try this as well just because this is kind of fun and very interactive to play with. You can add bubbles as well. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to Shruti B's creativity channel. Bye!